Hey, what's up, guys? David Vanoy Jr. here, Gears of Biz Blog. Want to just talk real quickly about the DocuSign. I have uh, talked about best practices with DocuSign and how to really fully maximize digital signatures and paperless workflow. Let's just do a quick tutorial on just how you actually send a document. So I'm just going to go through the real, there's a real basic video just so you can see how easy it is to send a document for digital signature. So I'm going to do this real quick here. You can see all I did was log in to my DocuSign uh, dashboard here. Uh, you can look into pricing and more specific questions on, on some of our later posts, but this is just about how simple it is to acquire. So uh, let's go to new document. And this can uh, qualify for any business here and uh, check your, your, your state to make sure that it's legal. But all you do here is come in and upload a document. You click Browse. So for me, I'm in real estate, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one of my client's files, whoever want to get signed. I'm going to go with uh, just any document here. I'm going to pick a blank listing, uh, just a blank waiver. All right, you can see that it's just going to pop up. I'm going to go ahead and send this to myself. Don't be confused, though. This is, this is who you're going to send the document to. So you're going to put in their email and their name. That's all you need. The note can be anything. You could say sign this. All right? You can manage your people in here if you're working with a lot of the same people. That way you don't have to plug this in a lot. Just click Next. It's going to, say, it's going to come through like an email. So the subject is going to be... MLS waiver, whatever the document is. It's going to say, David, please do this. You get it. Whatever it's going to say, you can create a template. That way this always looks the same. You have options to allow the signers to edit the documents. That's kind of move things around. You'll see how that works later. And then what you want to do is you want the interview. You want to show the interview. That The interview is what's going to uh, show them how to sign it. I'll show you that in a minute. Auto save new recipients. That's always nice. So you don't have to replug them in and show confirmation when sending. Always nice to know that it got sent. Okay, so moving along, we're going to click next. All right, so this is the document, and now I'm going to add the signatures to it. I can also, as you see, I can add a data field. So if I want to just put in whatever I want here, if it's an address, if I want to come back in to the listing office and type anything that'll add it directly to the document. So it gives you the ability not to have to print things out if you want to get something signed. So I'm going to come over here to signature. You see I've got multiple sizes. All right, you see how that works? It's got large, medium, small. All right, you kind of look at your box. You'll get a feel for that. What you want to do is line this up just like this where the red line is right on the actual line. It's going to give you a little preview. You can also scroll up and down on the size of it here. If you had, if these words here were pressing down, you can make it smaller or larger to make sure it fits. What you're also going to want to do is come over here and grab the date. All right, drag that date in over here. Let's say for an example, you wanted them to have an initial on something as well. Come over here and grab an initial, drag it wherever you'd like it. We'll just put it down here so you can see it. Make that whatever size you want. Uh, another quick option here is a checkbox. You'll use these a lot. So if there was something over here requiring a checkbox, you could tr you could drop that in and you could check the checkbox. Okay, so a couple different options there. Pretty much allows you to edit the document however you want. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to click send. All right, it's going to it's going to ask me a couple of quick questions about the sending. It's going to confirm it. So here's my envelope number. Here's the subject. This is how I'm going to reference it later. Document name. All right, pretty easy. I'm going to click send. Now that happens pretty much just that fast, okay? And I'm going to go back to the console. You see it says thank you and I'm done, right? That's pretty much it. Now if I log over in on my email here, you can see it's already showed up. I'm going to click it. This is what the client sees, okay? So look, I want to show you how easy this is real quick. Please review and sign your document. Pretty easy. There's not a whole lot of places I can go here. Review kind of stands out. Here's the name. Here's the note. It says sign this, and then it gives some instructions, right? So I'm going to click review. This is all happening live, by the way. I didn't. I'm not going to. I'm not going to edit this, so you can see this is actually how how quick it shows up. 
All right, you can read through this. It basically is just a little intro that your client is going to get or whoever's signing the document. It's saying, one, I agree, two, I adopt, I want to review, then I'm going to click the tabs, then I'm going to click complete. Okay, you'll see that when we go through it, but this is just a quick disclosure here. So they agree here, they agree to adopt. You can also jump in here and modify, I won't get into that now, but uh, let's just agree and adopt. All right, it's going to generate the signature. All right, the start button kind of sticks out here. There's nothing else to do. When I click start, it takes me, it blinks this first uh, data field. All right, then I want to go next. It's going to highlight everything that's been edited. All right, it's going to go to the signature. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to click it, and that's what happens. The initial, I'm going to click it, and that's what happens. All right, it's going to say, you're done signing these documents. You want to review them or do you want to complete signing? Most people are going to say complete signing. Then what happens is they get this option that says you've completed. Would you like to download the document or do you want to view other download options? Typically they'll download it. I'm just going to say done and that's it. Now what's going to happen is, real quick so you can see, on your end, you log. I'm going to log back into my email and you can see, boom, completed in the in the subject line here, MLS waiver, and you can see it's going to say this is completed and attached down here, which is a setting, is the actual document signed. I'm going to click view real quick so you can see it, and you can see it's added the text, it's added the signature, and it's added the initial. So that's kind of just a quick run through, guys. I'm going to do some other stuff for you here, but uh, that is DocuSign and digital signatures. I'm David Vanoy Jr., Gears of Biz Blog. Talk to you later.